Uh, well, we're working on it right now. U.S. officials say they're analyzing a second video that is believed to show the suspect behind a failed bomb attack in New York's Times Square, one of the most heavily trafficked areas of the country's largest city. But officials aren't saying if the person in the video is a suspect. The bomb found inside of a sport utility vehicle contained propane tanks, gas, and two clocks. The device was extremely crude. Uh, it wasn't a suicide bomb implying a lower level of commitment. This was someone who left explosives at a site to go off and ran away themselves. Members of the Pakistan Taliban released a video saying the attack is payback for the death of its leader, Betola Massoud, and the recent killings of the top leaders of al-Qaeda in Iraq. According to the Associated Press, an unidentified speaker on the tape also says the attack comes in response to American interference and terrorism in Muslim countries, especially in Pakistan. Analysts say the discovery will have a profound impact on U.S. Department of Homeland Security procedure. New York is a target. There are people out there, some organized and some working alone. And it's going to happen again, and it's going to happen again, and it's going to happen in capitals around the world. But law enforcement officials say they have not found a connection to the Taliban, and they continue to pour over evidence to determine what may have led to the failed attack. In what could be considered an unlikely link, authorities are also analyzing threats made to creators of a popular cartoon called South Park. Matt Stone and Trey Parker received threats from a U.S.-based extremist group that took offense to Prophet Muhammad wearing a bear suit. Well, anybody in the public eye who is critical of Muhammad or the Quran is going to draw uh, a pretty extreme response. Detectives are reported to be investigating similarities between the New York bomb and two car bombs planted by Islamic terrorists outside of a London club in 2007. They say there are similarities between the types of materials and the setup used to make the bomb. Colin Campbell, Washington.